Hello City Skylines fans, this is Socks Way Up and welcome back to Chillhorn, a Snowfall DLC City Skylines Let's Play series. If this is your first time stopping by checking out one of my videos, check out in the description below. We've put the playlist in there so you can see everything that's happened in Chillhorn so far. Go ahead and start with video one and you'll get caught up pretty quick. They're not too long of videos, but it'll give you an idea of where we're at and where we're going and why we're building this city. The plan for today is to extend and continue building the ski resort that we started last episode. The area you're looking at right now is the lodging section of the ski resort where the families will check in, they'll find their cabin, get settled. And then there's some daytime activities, you know, some sledding, some curling, some cross country skiing, but there's also a lot of fire pits and some places for kids to build snowmen. We're thinking of this area as the daytime attractions for the individuals that are not going to hit the ski slopes. You might have younger kids, they might not be ready for skiing. There's plenty for them to do in the Chillhorn Ski Resort. So you got your daytime entertainment in the lodging area as well as the ski slopes that we've started to build. We're going to get to those probably in another episode and finalize those as well. But today we're going to start building the nightlife. Last episode, we built a couple tram stops and we're going to populate those areas finally and we're going to get those going pretty quickly here. I just wanted to give an overview of what we've built so far in this area since it is where we're going to focus on today. The first area that you're looking at right now is going to be like a staging area. It is going to turn into some commercial usage, but that tram line there is what's going to take you to the ski slopes. This larger, weird, circle-ish, oblong shape is where the nightlife is going to be. And that's what we're going to do today, and we're going to kick that off right now for you. As we kick off the first time lapse of the episode, I want to talk about a few changes to the way we're building Chillhorn. I've installed a few extra mods that I've been wanting to play around with for quite some time. The first one we're going to utilize today is Plop the Growables. It allows you to manually plop buildings with Find It and they'll remain there. And we've also installed no abandonment so that even if we don't have the demand for the building that we placed in this area, it'll still stay there. It won't get abandoned. It won't upgrade. They'll, they'll stay the same. So we get to pick and choose exactly how we want the area to look. And we're gonna give that a shot today. Bear with me, I'm learning how to pick buildings and, and figure out exactly how I want them. The other major mod that I installed is called Forest Brush by TPB. It's a great mod. It lets you pick and choose multiple trees and plants and bushes and turn them into a single brush. So we've spent a good amount of time and landed on what I want the forest to look like in the entire area. We're gonna replace all the major areas that have trees. It's gonna, that's gonna happen over time. Later on in the episode, you'll see how awesome that looks. Some of it doesn't look great from far away, but zoomed in, some of these trees look amazing. But right now we're laying down the, the main infrastructure for the new nightlife slash commercial area of the ski resort. So like always, we're laying down some parking structures, adding in our snow covered spots. I'm still a little frustrated that you can't get rid of the snow. Actually did a little bit of research on this myself and was gonna try to recreate these assets without snow on them. Well, I was gonna try to modify them, but it turns out that these assets are just utilizing some default functionality of the game. And there's some ways, from what I understand and reading in the wiki, that you, when creating the assets outside of City Skylines, when you're actually doing the modeling, there's some settings that you can set on your assets for them to ignore be the, the snow layer on top of it, which was a little, it was a little sad when I discovered that, but we're, we're dealing with it. We're going to move on. So here you can see we're, we're, we're kind of flying through, find it, picking some buildings that fit the area. My first go at it wasn't satisfied with it. So we keep plugging away until we can finally, you know, hit that mark that we want. And it's a, it's a learning curve for me for sure. And I think I'm going to have to download a lot of cu more custom assets now that I'm building this way and thinking about the city in different ways. If you're familiar with Chillhorn, you know that this was my way to help people bring in the holiday season. And I hope that's working for everyone that's watching these, this series. It's definitely helping me today. We, we put up the Christmas lights at my house here today and it, it just, it's starting to feel like Christmas. It's starting to feel like the holiday season and I love it. We just had Thanksgiving in America. It's a great time of year. It's my favorite time of year. 
but I wanted to bring that up because this se this series is going to be somewhat short. We're going to we're going to probably go through the winter and a little bit into the new year. But some of the reasons why I'm trying out these new mods is I'm preparing myself for a long, very detailed series that we're going to start in 2021. I'm finalizing some of the themes and ideas that I have for it right now, but I wanted to get more familiar with plopping down my own assets and picking out custom assets from the from the asset store and really creating a city that is my own. I'm definitely going to create it based off of a major city in the United States. I have a couple in mind that I am narrowing it down to right now. I've been spending a lot of time on Google Earth to get some inspiration and I'm, I'm having a blast. I'm, I'm wanting to step it up to the next level and that's that's what we're going to try to do here for the rest of the year with Chillhorn. And like I said a minute ago, I hope this is helping bring in the holiday season for everyone. It definitely is for me, like I said. and. Did I say asset store? I probably said that a ton of times in these in, their, in these videos. It's it's definitely a workshop. The asset store is something that they have on Unity 3D, which is what this the the game engine that this game is built in. Get those things confused sometimes because I have played around with that quite a bit as well. But enough rambling. Back to the video. You can see I am just going through find it finding every commercial building that we can lay down here. I wanted to focus on leisure and the tourist buildings to begin with. There's just not enough of them to give you a diverse look that there's again there's just not enough of them and so we decided to just you know mix in regular commercial along with the leisure and tourist buildings at this point we transition to a little detailing uh, this was before we had the forest brush mod installed so we're still using the old landscaping tools at this point and again we found another spot that we didn't plop down buildings so we're doing that here as well I really am enjoying the ploppables and being able to do that. I also started doing that on Twitch where I'm starting to go live every Sunday and Wednesday night. It's at around between 8 and 8.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Been streaming for about two to three, maybe four hours if we're feeling really good and have a lot of energy. But over there on Twitch, we're currently building out Socktown, which is another Let's Play series on this YouTube channel that we somewhat finished and I felt like it wasn't complete. Had a couple comments in the video of people saying they were going to miss it. So I got the itch to stream again and I thought it was a perfect opportunity to bring Socktown back and, and kind of complete it. And we've been we've been having fun with that. A lot of detailing going on, a lot of expanding of the city. It's a blast. I'm enjoying it. So I guess this is a shameless, shameful, shameless, shameful, shameful plug to ask you to come on over to Twitch and check me out live on Sundays and Wednesdays. Lots of rambling in this video. Huh. All right, so we got the first half of this new commercial district all finalized. I want to take kind of a look back here to kind of see how it's coming out and then we're going to extend it. So we wanted to build out a large parking structure with some larger buildings to start out with and then fill in the rest of the area with more commercial. But this section is not going to have the the parking lots. That's just going to be in the one area. I lay down some parks here. These are the winter parks with the fire pits. So again, we, we're thinking of this as nightlife and commercial, not just uh, commercial. So mostly you got all the cool daytime stuff down at the lodge area. And this is the nightlife. This is the commercial area. It's also as a nice benefit or a bonus to this area. I think we need an area counter. How many times is he going to say area in this segment? Anyways, a nice bonus to this section, this district of town is that a lot of the commercial needs of Chillhorn are going to be filled here. You can see already that the commercial demand is starting to go down. The residential demand is skyrocketed, which I'm super excited to start building more residential areas, which we're going to do in the next episode. I have a lot of ideas for that. I want to get a lot of the residential roads laid down in the next episode and just build this town out to be super large, but not high dense. Again, I'm not convinced or I'm not sure we're going to lay down one high dense residential building in this entire build. We'll see. I, I just I feel like Chillhorn is a you know, low density, smallish type town that's just going to keep populating because of some of the things that are happening in this the ski resort. The ski resort, you're kind of, I'm going to explain that later. I'm getting way ahead of myself. 
here we're doing some more detailing of the of the new commercial area again prior to having the forest brush installed which is a life changer if you haven't checked that out and you love playing this game check out forest brush forest brush did i say life changer no it's it's a game changer it's not a life changer it's a game changer i love it you can make custom brushes custom forests you can spend hours you know creating your own brush for your your custom city check it out just just check it out I'm going to stop rambling now, at least for this time lapse. I'm going to let this one play out and I'll catch you in the next segment. So this area here is going to be where people get dropped off to head up to the ski slopes. So at first I was trying to play around with the slope tool. I've had success with this in the past. I think the road was, I think the road was the problem or the slope I was trying to create wasn't, it was just too steep. But so we play around with that for a while. We get the terrain more where we want it. We're going to get it more flat up top there. That's not really the focus of this this update that we do to the city but it's definitely some groundwork that we wanted to lay down for upcoming episodes and when we do finalize some of those ski slopes and the pathway up to to get to those ski, ski slopes that's tough to say ski slopes ski slopes but here we we move the we move the bus stop over so that we can have people get off closer to the slope and build a path here for them to to head on up also want to like I've mentioned this is like a staging area so we're gonna lay down another park in this area for people to hang out with maybe they're waiting for the rest of their group to get together and then head up to the slopes but silly me I thought I could modify paths with move it you can't so we fix the terrain so we, we flatten out the terrain because we did want this to be a flat area and then there's a lot of terraforming going on in this episode and it's something that I'm I'm, I'm just I'm building it the way I want it, okay? I'm changing the map, deal with it. So there it is, the brush tool. Finally, or the forest brush tool. I think that forest looks gorgeous. I am so thrilled at how it turned out. It's gonna be all over the place. It's probably gonna be overdone, but you can kind of see it in the commercial area. We updated that off camera. Love the way it turned out. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to build out more commercial, but this area is going to be more low dense commercial, not necessarily as, as high dense as the nightlife area, quote unquote nightlife. So we're, we're using here what is starting to become one of my favorite approaches is the pedestrian zonable roads. And I think they work in these small, low dense commercial areas. You can see the way they turn out. I use the wider ones as kind of a main road and then the, sh the skinnier ones to kind of cross through. And it, it turns out pretty neat. Um, again, this is another attempt at using the, the plop, plop the growables mod. Uh, I know there's a few different, there's ploppable Rico out there mod. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check all of them out and see if they're any different or if they're just a lot of the same. But anyways, we, we build out this, this new little area. I wanted to maximize kind of the real estate up here and get a lot of commercial in the, in the area. A lot of the, the low dense, like I said before, there's gonna be some gas stations up here, maybe 
Maybe it's a day trip for you and you live into town, you're gonna drive up here and you, you need to fill up and gas before you drive home. So we wanted to take care of all of those needs in this single area. Again, this ski resort is turning into a lot more than just a ski resort. It is a destination place for people to come for entertainment, for, for all kinds of things, not just skiing. Basically gonna be one of the highlights of the city outside of the residential and industry areas. This is this is the nightlife, this is the, the sightseeing. We're gonna build some trains so that we can get inner city people in here potentially. And I'm also thinking about for the first time in one of my series, adding a airport. Actually don't know if I've ever added an airport in any of my cities. I think Chillhorn might get one. Now that I've said that, we're gonna to have to build an airport. All right, notes taken, added to the list, airport. We're gonna add an airport in the near future. That should be fun. And if you're watching the video and not just listening to me ramble, you can see that we're almost complete with the new small, it's not small, low dense commercial area being built out. I'm utilizing a lot of different building sizes to fit the the interesting curves that we have here. And I, th I think it makes for a pretty neat little Commercial area, I guess that's area 17 area. this far thanks for joining thanks for checking out this episode of Chillhorn. i had <laughs> got to be honest with you i've had a blast recording the voice for this episode i'm trying to let some of my my real personality come out and and make these a little more entertaining for people to listen to as they watch me build out this city i hope that's how it came across and not too goofy or or, or random but it is what it is it's my personality and i'm trying to i'm trying to get it out there and build a little bit of a community and have people laugh while they're watching a city being built kind of a funny concept but we're gonna we're gonna wrap things up here in a little bit i wanted to give a little bit of an overview of the city before we go this this here again is going to be the landing area staging area for the ski slopes they're gonna utilize this path kind of wander up we're, we're gonna get those ski slopes built out eventually we got one working it needs a lot more we need we need you know the bunny path we need the diamond path all of those things but chillhorn's starting to tell a story it started as this small, humble town, and it had its beginnings where a few families moved. They built some industry factories, which led to an ore mine coming to town where they, they found a lot of ore. And then a few entrepreneurs had the great idea of building a ski resort here, which caused the town to boom, caused it to start growing. And that's where we're going to get to in the next episode is where this town just starts booming. It has a lot of people moving into it almost to where the commercial and industry jobs can't keep up because the demand for this city is so large but i hope you're looking forward to that i'm looking forward to building it out I already got a little bit of it started so i do know a little bit that's coming spoilers not spoilers that's that's not how that works Anyways, thanks for joining this episode of Chillhorn. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and possibly subscribe. That would help us out a ton. And if you have a chance and can and are able, check us out on Twitch on Sundays and Wednesdays around 8.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Until next time, I'm Socks Way Up, and thanks for joining. <laughs>